Is the Theragun Mini the best portable massage gun that you need for your everyday recovery needs? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts and experiences using this as my only everyday wellness and recovery device. So let's go ahead and get right to it. What's up everybody, if it's your first time here, my name is Noah, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your overall health and productivity. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So starting off with what comes in the box, it's actually pretty minimalistic. You get the standard Theragun charger with the wall adapter, which is also a bit smaller than the charger for my Theragun Elite. You also get the typical quick start guide with instructions, warranty, and a Theragun decal. You know the stuff that people really just don't look at and they throw away. And then finally, you get the actual Theragun mini device, which comes in its own small pouch, which I think is a great addition. And it only comes with one attachment, which is the Theragun standard ball head. Now, when I look at the actual size of the Theragun mini, it's definitely a lot more compact than my Theragun Elite, but it also has a little bit of weight and heft to it, which I think gives it its Theragun premium quality, similar to their other devices. At the top of the Theragun mini is an ergonomic grip, which seems to fit pretty well in the palm of my hand. It's fairly comfortable to hold even if I have to hold the bottom of the grip to reach those different spots across my back and my shoulders. There's also one physical button on the device itself which is used to power the device on and off and also determine the speed settings. There is an LED light in the middle of that button to display the battery life of the device with green showing full charge, blue showing halfway charge, and red being low charge. Next to the power speed button are three LED lights which show you which speeds you'd like the Theragun Mini to be at. And of course you have the ball attachment at the bottom of the device which you can switch out if you have any of the five attachments that Therabody sells. In terms of how it works and its effectiveness, it definitely lives up to par with the other Theragun devices. For me, I feel the power is very similar to what I have with my Elite and the Prime that I used to have, where after just five to six minutes of usage, my body feels pretty loose, relaxed, and recovered. Unlike the Theragun Prime and Elite, however, you can only choose between three speeds versus five. This is typically calculated in PPMs, which correlates to how many percussions or times the attachment head will come in contact with your body. For the Theragun Mini, they go from 1,750 percussions per minute for level one, level two is 2,100 PPMs, and then level three is the highest being at 2,400. PPMs. Still though, the lowest and the max number of PPMs are exactly the same as the other devices. Now in terms of sound, it's really not that bad. I would definitely say it's a good bit quieter than my Theragun Elite, but I still find myself a bit self-conscious in public or in quiet environments at the higher speeds. Now one thing I particularly love about the Theragun Mini is its battery life. It's a lot more extended compared to my Theragun Prime and Elite being at 150 minutes or two and a half hours versus the typical two hours. This typically translates to me getting between five to six more sessions in versus my Theragun Elite. Lastly, in terms of app connectivity, unfortunately the Theragun Mini does not have Bluetooth capabilities to be controlled from the Apple Watch or smartphone. Now you can still follow along with the recovery routines and the massage sessions in the app, you just won't be able to control the speeds through your phone, which is something I really do love doing on my Theragun Elite. But shout out to Therabody for improving their app design and interface as it is so much more improved compared to last year's version with a more modern looking images, useful instructional diagrams on where to use your massage gun it's just so much more improved so ultimately what are my final thoughts on the theragun mini well a few things that i wasn't a big fan of was the lack of bluetooth capability which i just mentioned i feel that bluetooth technology should just be in all sorts of devices given where we are in the state of the world right now i also wish that theragun mini was a little bit more ergonomic like maybe having more of a handle versus just this solid thing right here because i feel like it would be easier to grip to get behind my shoulders or maybe upper back. And then lastly, which I can't really say is specifically about the Theragun Mini, but I do wish their app functionality was a little bit better. Maybe having videos in the app that show you how to use a massage gun or some way of giving me an overall recovery status based on how much I use the Theragun Mini during the week, or maybe just body parts that might need to use the Theragun a little bit more, again, based off the workouts that I did. But overall, I'd say I definitely recommend the Theragun Mini if you're looking for a compact massage gun to help you recover after workouts, assist with muscle aches or knots on your body. It's a great addition to your wellness arsenal, especially if you have other Therabody products or attachments. It's a great entry into the world of quality massage guns without having to drop like a grand on a top tier device with it only being around $200. However, there are other cheaper massage gun options out there in the market, so just make sure you check out those options. If you're interested in buying this device, feel free to check out the links in the description box below. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and you already know, embrace the hype.